Okay, this is take three. <laughs> We're trying to explain how to, you got to determine whether that you have a 32 or a 64 bit. So on your on your operating system, you got to find your search field. Now this is Windows 10, so this is going to be a little bit different than Vista. Uh, but in any case, you're going to type in system info, and if it fills out the rest, it should say system information. You click on that. And you're looking for where it says system type. Now this is an X64 based PC, so this is 64 bit. That will determine the type of software you're going to download as far as Linux is concerned. Now at this website, this show watch, this is where you can get just about every version of Linux that's available. Um, scroll, you can scroll through this and get pretty much lost, but mainly you want to concentrate on this right hand pane where it says the uh, distributions, right, and the rankings, okay, like number one right now is Manjaro. Now number one to me doesn't mean that's the best one, it just means that uh, that's probably the most popular one, but there are a lot of versions that will probably not work on your computer based on whether that is 64 or 32 bit, because some of these you can't run on 32 bit. In order to determine that, you gotta, you gotta figure out you know if they have the uh, options available so let's for instance I'm just gonna click on Manjaro it's gonna take me to their page and I'm basically gonna look uh, down here where it says uh, download mirrors okay but you can also read the description it tells you that uh, it supports 64 and also x86 now x86 is 32 bit Okay, now, but you may not find that distribution download here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if uh, if it does or not. So um, I mean, it, it might. You don't know. The only way you'll be able to tell is to download it. Okay. So I click on the download mirror. It takes me to another page. I say, okay, there's XFC edition. I think they got other ones. There's a KDE edition. There's the GNOME edition. Now, personally, I don't. I've I've used Manjaro, but I I really don't like it. You can try it and see if you like it. Um, but anyway, what you got to do is go to the download section and find out you know uh, what you're going to be downloading. So you click on it, and uh, okay, right here takes to another page. Now. This says download of Manjaro x86 and 64. Okay, so this probably will have both versions in it. It probably auto detects the type of system that you have. So you click on it. And down here, now I'm running um, Chrome. It, it's automatically going to download the the ISO for you. Now, now you can see how big it is. This, uh, actually, I downloaded it twice. So let me cancel this one. Okay. But anyway, so once you download the ISO and find out where the download is located, then you can uh, you need another piece of software to uh, get it rolling. So that's the next step. Okay. Now here's the Manjaro ISO. Okay, it's like over a gig. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to use a USB, which I have right here. I'm using this one right here. And I'm going to uh, put that file on that USB. Now, you don't drag it there. you got to use another program, okay, in order to put it on that USB. And this is how you do that. Okay, we go to this website here. It's called uh, Pin Drive Live or pindrivelinux.com and slash yumi dash multiboot dash usb creator now you could just okay the home page is probably just pin drive live yeah and you go to that page and you look for the the yumi universal multiboot installer you click on that and then you scroll down you find the download for that 
okay right here now there's two different versions there's the regular one and one for you EFI uh, now I'm going to use the regular one and download it okay again you know it's going to download and when you get that download then we're going to go to the next step okay now I downloaded both the U EFI and the regular one so I'm going to click on the regular one get it running yeah, yeah click yeah okay you're going to get the screen you're going to click agree now up here step one you got to pick the drive which is your flash drive if it shows more than one drive like if I click this box here to show all drives it's going to show every drive on that computer I don't want it to do that because I might click the wrong one and delete something so don't click showing all drives just just uh hopefully it detects the right one and that's the one I want to use so I click on it now you leave these blank for right now because what I want to do I want to select the distribution the distribution I'm going to use is my Manjaro that was the uh, uh, Manjaro XFC so we're going to go back to uh, select distribution scroll down here and we're going to see if we're going to find it should be down here okay there's Manjaro right here click on that now we have to browse for that image. Now, where do we put that image? We click browse and we go to our computer and we find where that image is located. And this is where I put it. You, on your computer, you got to figure out where you put it. You select on it, it should show in here. And then once everything's ready to go, you click create. And it's going to tell you some warnings. Uh, basically, yeah, you're going to be formatting that drive. So um, once it gets done, we're going to I'm going to show you what the next step is. It's still running. Got a little bit more time to go. Okay, almost done. Okay, it's doing the finishing touches, and that's it. Okay, so I click next. It's going to ask you, do you want to add more of the shows? I could, but no, I'm not going to do anything right now. So I'm going to click no and click finish. Now, so I'm done with this. So what I can do now, I can remove the drive, but I'm not going to take it out right away. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to my uh, remove, safety remove section. I want to remove the USB. So safe to remove it. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so this is the drive we're going to use. I'm going to show you how to use this to get Linux running. Okay, now I'm going to take this and put it into USB slot. Now this is my other desktop. This is my 32-bit desktop. So what I got back right there is the USB stick. I got my Wi-Fi adapter and my wireless adapter for my mouse and keyboard. Anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, now when you turn on your machine, it's going to go through this bias feature, but you got to make sure that it boots to that USB. So I got to tell it to uh, go to that. So after I have to push the power button. Okay, you look on your screen. And you got to look on the the option that says okay, multi, or boot to a certain device. I think for this computer, it might be F11 on my keyboard. I gotta see what's gonna be here. Oops, okay, so it's gonna go and do that instead. So let me reboot it, try it again. All right, if it goes right up to the screen, I'm gonna try to reboot it, try it again. Okay, so it's going through the reboot process. I believe on this computer, it's F11. Let's see here. Okay, F11 for boot menu. Okay, so I'm tapping F11. All right, I tapped F11. And, okay, so this is actually what you're going to see because that boot, uh, that boot that I put in there allowed this to happen. Okay, so that's going to be to continue to boot from the first hard drive. 
or go to Linux distribution. Now you only have only got 10 seconds left before it automatically goes to boot. So I gotta select the Linux distro and then hit enter. Okay. Now it's gonna ask me, oh, there's Manjaro. So I'm gonna select on that, hit enter, and we just sit back and wait for it to either ask me more questions or oh, we're gonna go right into it. Okay. So here again you have a um an option it tells you right off the bat what do you want to do you want to change the language no do i want to driver free no do i want to boot yes i want to boot so select boot okay now let's see what's going to happen here okay we're starting to get some information popping up up here oh look at all this stuff well uh i can't tell you but as long as it's doing something, something's going on, it's probably building a, you know, the whole operating system together. So just let that run. And when it gets done doing all this stuff, we'll just see what we got to do next. Now, like I said before, uh, you can run any version of Linux that your computer is compatible with. The best thing to do is to test it out. Uh, I'm, I'm taking it to this point to install it, uh, but I don't want to do it because I have another operating system on here. I'm not going to mess with it. So when it asks you to install, don't do it unless you intend to wipe out that drive that you have on there. So what I'm going to do is just take this up to the point to where it's usable, and then I'm going to stop. Okay. Now. Operating system is basically up right now. This is a welcome page, and you can close that up. And there was a message up here talking about Wi-Fi is available. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and enable that. Uh, we can do that down here. Uh, we'll click on that, and it's gonna say, "Oh, what Wi-Fi I want to use?" Let me use this one because I know the password for that one. Okay, go ahead and enter my password. Okay, connection is established, so I entered the right password. Now, let's test to see if I can get this thing to give me a, uh, let's see here, a web browser. Where's the web browser at on this thing? Okay, let's go down here. I think this is the menu. There we go. Okay, as far as the web browser, okay, there's internet or web browser. Let's click that and see what happens. Now remember now, this isn't being run off your hard drive. It's being run off of that U USB stick. However, this at least lets me know if it's running that I can actually install this on this computer. So let me see here. Let me type in, uh, let's see, news. Okay, hit enter. Yes, this thing is working i can browse as far as doing other stuff i'm pretty sure i can figure out how to get it to go but i can run manjaro on this computer and that's basically how you can get a linux version running on your computer